Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. We do a Jamie Friday, of course, it's today's first video. So as always on a Friday, but your map head look up is gonna take us into the second half of May. And uh, we'll have a look at the Jamie first of all, we'll have a look at the CFSB to compare the two and see what trends we can pick out uh, for the next four weeks. So I'll get on Jamie Friday for you very shortly. Just say that your second video update coming up later on this afternoon will be the regular week to 10 day video update, including all of the usual features. And then this evening we've got April's Enso update. So we'll be bringing you an update with everything El Dino and La Nina related, and that's going to be for around 7 o'clock this evening. Uh, right then, so Joe and Friday starts us off. Uh, these are the 500 millibar high dynamic flow charts from the JMA, broken down into weekly pairs from the Arctic and North Pole view down. So this is the Arctic circle up here, of course, and we've got the wider and medium latitudes uh, around there. So yellow, orange, and red extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure, blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. So break down to weak periods. The first week period will take us from the 24th today of April through to the 1st of May. So the uh, coming week is dominated by an area of above average heights sitting to our north. High pressure is to the north. Low pressure is to the west and to the south and northeast and east of the country. Uh, so got a bit of a blocking area of high pressure. That's keeping the winds in from like an easterly type direction. It's a little bit more unsettled than it has been, I think, in week ahead. It won't be desperately wet, but gradually these areas of low pressure will uh, start to bring more showery conditions. And by the time you get through to next week, it could begin to turn rather unsettled. Uh, week two looks like this. It takes us from the first through to the eighth of May, with an area of above average heights developing to our west and southwest, and still up to the northeast as well. In between, got rather weaker pressure. Trough of low pressure is through here. Uh, so probably still a little bit on the mixed side, not entirely settled, but uh, overall. Probably near normal, actually. So there will be some showers likely at times. But uh, over, we're not too far from the ridges, both to the northeast and to the southwest. So I suspect there will be a fair amount of dryish weather through that uh, through that first week of May. Uh, this doesn't look very good, but this is weeks three and four. It takes us from the 8th through 22nd of May. And uh, then we get below average heights appearing more or less over top of the country and to our east. The ridge is out to west of Portugal. Jet stream is a line northwest to southeast. That looks quite cool and unsettled, actually, as we go further on into May. That low pressure will be providing uh, spells of rain. And winds are in from the north to northwest, so probably quite cool uh, as well. So cool and unsettled conditions taking us into the middle part of May, perhaps. It's tropical and mid-latitude uh, view, so we can't see the Arctic or North Pole, Greenland, Scandinavia, those sort of areas are off the uh, map. But of course, we just have a look at that view down, so we know roughly what's going on in the north latitudes there up here. Which is in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. So, uh, the week one, 500 millibar height anomaly from the 24th of April to the 1st of May has the below average heights to the west and to the south and to the southeast. There is a ridge sitting up here to our north. It looks a little bit on the unsettled side. Temperature anomalies are a near normal, are near normal to a little bit on the cool side, actually. So, just to our east, it's actually a bit below average of a temperature anomaly. Our temperature anomaly is close to average, but uh, possibly hinting at uh, being on, a little bit on the cool side. It's not overly unsettled, though. Actually, it's slightly drier uh, than average. I would have thought it's likely to be a bit more showery than that suggests, especially as we get through to next week. It could be a little bit more rainfall you, than you might expect from that uh, from that anomaly. But the model itself, you go for a drier than average week, Ben. Uh, then we're into week two, which is the first through to the eighth. Mate. The first week of May has high pressure down to our southwest. Low pressure is out to our west and northwest. We've got the sort of uh, near and normal type heights. Temperature anomalies for the first week of May are average. You possibly hint at being a little bit milder than average now. It's a bit more unsettled as well, so uh, the model is going for a slightly above average rate. But I've had that a little bit the other way around, actually. I'd go for week one to be a bit wetter and week two to be a bit uh, drier. So it is quite a confused picture from uh, the JMA in the next couple of weeks. 
Uh, we go through to weeks three and four, which takes us from the 8th to the 22nd of May, with the below average heights then coming in from the northwest, above average heights out west Portugal. Jetstream looks like it's lined up northwest to southeast. It just looks generally quite cool. And then settle that to me. Temperature anomalies are average to perhaps seem to get being slightly cooler than average. And uh, precipitation anomaly. Again, it's a little bit on the wetter side, particularly for northern parts of the country, near normal further south. But uh, it does like a relatively mixed May, I have to say, uh, with the JMA scenario today. Quite mixed and a little bit on the cool and unsettled side overall. Let's see how the uh, CFSV2 compares. So again, these are 500 millibar heights broken down into week periods. The first week period takes from 24th to the 30th of April. The coming week has above average heights to our north and northwest. Below average heights are sort of to our east northeast. Winds coming from quite a coolish sort of direction from the north to northeast, so not to be overly warm in the week ahead. And still anti cyclonic influences, not particularly unsettled, but probably turning a bit more showery. Uh, week two is the first of the 7th of May, below average heights out towards the northwest, above average heights sitting just to our east and northeast. So it looks like we're probably re establishing a bit of a westerly flow. Probably quite mild though, quite a warmish sort of um, air mass out. Winds coming up from like the southwest to south, uh, and uh, probably turning a bit more unsettled for northern and western parts of the country as well. Uh, week three is going to be the 8th to the 14th of May. Below average heights then sort of to our east, the ridge out to the southwest. Quite a complicated sort of pattern. Um, probably quite cool, I would have thought. Wings kind of north to northeasterly. Maybe a little bit on the unsettled side, particularly for, for more eastern parts of the country. And then week four is the 15th to the 21st of May. Some higher pressure towards the north of Scotland in the Norwegian Sea. Uh, below average heights down to our southwest. Again, looks rather unsettled. Could be a little bit on the cool side as well. Um, these are very weak signals uh, for May, you'll have noticed. These are very complicated patterns and weak signals. But the overall thing that's coming through with this is, uh, I think, a rather mixed May, to say the least, is likely with probably some spells of rain at times. Week 1 temperature anomaly from the 24th of April to the 30th is slightly below average. That's more what I'd expect in uh, the coming week, the temperature anomaly really. Uh, week 2 temperature anomaly from the 1st of the 7th of May is close to average. Week 3, again, it's close to average, maybe a little bit above. But if you go over to this side of the map, we see most parts of Europe actually uh, with below average temperatures. And then week four, which is the 15th to the 21st of May, that also coming out slightly below average. So May is looking rather coolish, really, from a temperature perspective, I think, reading between the lines here. The precipitation only finally from the 24th to the 30th of April, significantly drier than average. I'd expect this to be a bit more unsettled, though, uh, in the weekend. I don't think it'll be as dry as these models are indicating, really. Week two is the first is the first to the seventh of May, and near normal precipitation then probably going a bit more unsettled. Week three is the eighth to the fourteenth of May, that also near normal for precipitation, and week four also, which is fifteenth twenty first May, that one is also near normal as well. Very complicated patterns uh, this week, which is something a little bit indicative of what tends to happen in May at the best of times. Very often the patterns do get quite slack and uh, complicated uh, to uh, decipher. But I think the overall signal that's coming through here from both of these models is that after this very warm and dry April, it has been an incredibly warm and dry month, we're going to something rather more changeable for May. I wouldn't necessarily say unsettled uh, or go as far as saying it's going to be a really wet month, but certainly the signals are there, but it's going to be a more changeable month. It's going to be uh, uh, more mixed than we've been used to during April. And temperatures probably sliding a bit as well. So the overall signals uh, for May, I think, are looking rather mixed, rather coolish at times. No doubt there will be some warmth in there too, but rather coolish at times and possibly a little bit on the unsettled side or certainly changeable side 
at times uh, as well. Nothing too dramatically bad. Nothing to suggest a real washout of the month. But certainly a bit on the mix side, to say the least. Uh, it could all look very different next week. It's uh, only a snapshot of what models are showing today. Any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with health warnings. So next week it could all look rather different. But that's how they're looking uh, today. We'll be back later on with your week's 10 day video update map. We'll include all of regular features. I've got the ENSO update for you coming up uh, tonight. That's all for now, though. Thanks for watching.